Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way. Manchester United are in Turkey, but guess what? It's not for holidays. Manchester United are playing against uh, uh, Fenerbahce. You can put it the other way because they're hosting us. Fenerbahce is hosting Manchester United in the European Cup. This is our preview for that game, guys. We want to give you guys some information. We want to give you guys my view. I'm a fan, just like you. No messing around. Tell me what your best lineup will be because that's what, what this video is all about. How the tactics, how we are going to move, where is the most important thing. Yes, guys, that's what we'll be doing, guys. I will try to make it very short, less than 10 minutes as usual. Uh, uh, but before we start, guys, please help the channel and just click the like on the video. Subscribe if you like. If you don't like, you can move on. There are a lot of channels out there. No messing around with people uh, about, about subscription. It's not, it's not important for me. I do this because I like it. If you don't want to join it, it's up to you. But uh, for those of you who know we were doing a lot of streams on our lives, uh, I mean, doing the transfer, we'll be doing that when I think settle. Sometime, maybe by the end of the, the year. I don't know. I don't know. It depends on me. I cannot expose my situation. But look, Manchester United, we are now, uh, I said we are playing against uh, Turkey. If you look on my, this is my right, or maybe on your left, um, you'll see most ex-players of Manchester United playing for Fenerbahce. Very good team. And I, even, I didn't even mention our uh, ex-manager, Jose Mourinho, who is the manager of Fenerbahce. Very good team. It's a young club, a young football club. I think they're less than 30 years old in the international arena. But very ambitious one. Some told me, I mean, a Turkish guy told me that Fenerbahce, can someone tell me this? That Fenerbahce is kind of an elite club. Um, I think uh, uh, Odraga, how do you call it? the president of Turkey? <laughs> He is a fan of Fenerbahce. But well, coming back to the football deals, this is a game which United, like all the games, by the way, Manchester United have to win. But we have some bad news. The bad news is we the same players who will not be ready for this game. I'm not sure about Mount. Everybody's not sure about Mount. You know, even the I mean Mount is not sure about Mount. He's, he, he, you know, we used to have uh, Mount. I used to tell you people. I mean, I used to talk. We used to talk about Anthony Marshall being made of glass. I don't know what Mount is made of. Made of ice? I don't know. But Mount, I mean, he, I mean if, he, if he plays today, he will clearly get another injury. So I, I just don't know about Mount. It's a very difficult situation. But yeah, uh, United have, uh, the history between these two clubs is Manchester United have played Fenerbahce a couple of times. I remember the game we played in 2016 where we lost there and we beat them for, I think it was 4-1 in Old Trafford. Uh, I think, by the way, that's the game which you, you see Carrick uh, with, um, maybe Car Carrick with, uh, is that a game we've seen Carrick with uh with Van Persie? I'm not sure. But um well Fenerbahce is a team that play free flowing football. Their position in the Turkish league is a little bit below what their expectation. I think they are seventh in the league, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they have lost a lot of game. The manager Jose Moreno, he might not be on the he might not be on the under the sack like Eric Tenag, but he is uh Fenerbahce are not really happy. The fans are not happy where the club is going. So it, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a difficult period for Fenerbahce as well. But this is not a Fenerbahce channel. So we will talk about our situation in Manchester United. Eric Tenag, who, by the way, uh, won, uh, Manchester, won his last game as manager of Manchester United, beating um, Brentford and uh, going into this game with some positivity. So I will want you guys to give me your lineup drop your lineup below tell me we have van uh, van vest i uh, we had oh, I'm, I'm so bad with names honestly we have some of you guys there who uh, watch the community here uh, drop your lineup i want to know what how what is the bad lineup but what i want to tell you guys is that this game uh, Fenerbahce is a game with this club Fenerbahce is a team that will play with us except jose marino wants to win dirty where he goes extremely defensive and let manchester united play the game the ball, who, um, con, um, I mean, dominate possession, then hit us on the break. That could be a good strategy, and I think that will even be a best strategy for Fenerbahce in order if they want to beat Manchester United. But Jose Moreno, maybe because his position, he's under, he's under this pressure. He might allow the team to play free flow ball. I remember Fenerbahce back in the days when uh, you had players. Uh, Fenerbahce used to be the 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 the, the old the the old Saudi Arabian league. So players went there for retirement, their last paycheck. You know, most of them went there just from free. I made their last contract and end their career in Europe. But um, but this time, Fenerbahce has a team of young players. We also have players in Fred, Fred, magnifique Fred, energetic Fred, who is there. We have who play in the midfield, and we also have a player like in Amrabad, which, by the way, I wanted Manchester United to keep Manchester Amrabad. He is playing at Fenerbahce. But look, this is my lineup. I'll start the game with uh, the Turkish goalkeeper. I know he won't do it. This is my lineup. 
this is not Ten Hag's lineup. My name is not Ten Hag. My name is Ralph Tukan. So I'll start the game with uh, the, the the Turkish goalkeeper. The name has just gone over my head. Oh, what a pro I am! The goalkeeper of Turkey who plays who for Manchester United, the Yenda, the Yenda. I will start the game with defense with him. That is previous club. We bought him from Fenerbahce, and uh, I will put. I think from Fenerbahce. I think yes, if I'm not mistaken, not Galatasaray. I think Fenerbahce. Yeah, Fenerbahce. Um, then uh, holding midfield, I will start with Delit and uh, Evans. I'll give Ella forty-five minutes, not more. It will be uh, five minutes, not more. So uh, that that's the situation with the game. Uh, that's what I want to start. And guess what? I will play with the elite in the defense. Uh, the, the elite in the defense play with uh, also with uh, on the other side of the defense. I will play with um, with Evans on the left. Mm, I would go strong. I would go with um, Mazari on the right, on the left. I can do Kobe Tola, I don't know, but I, I, on the left, I'll do go with uh, Delo. In the midfield, I will bring, we need to start Ogate. Ogate should be in that midfield. We need energy. If we allow an open midfield, we'll lose that game. So Ogate plays the midfield with, uh, Ogate plays the midfield with, with Casimiro in the midfield. And this would be a chance for a good playmaker. I think Ericsson should play that number 10 role playmaker. And on the right, we will put uh, maybe Ganacho and Marcus Rashford left and right. I don't really care where they play. They can interchange from time to time. But Rasmus Holland to be the attacker. Tell me what you think. If that's the best lineup, that's my lineup, Razukan. I'm, I'm going for a win for Manchester United. It could be a 3 2 United. I'm seeing United. United is a child. This is a game which United can score three goals. And considering what United is these days, I think we are going to consider. We are going to concede more than. Um, we can concede one goal more than one goal because United playing outside when we concede one goal the heads drops and uh, I want to be on a positive side some will even go for a draw because they're not confident but what I think is the players know that before the next international break we need to get the results because these players are not really all they are not 100% professional or maybe they are not just good enough but what they are is if they want to come together not to lose a game. I think they can they can they can hold games. They can hold games. And Fenerbahce is not with all respect to the Turkish side. It's not a team that we are not playing Man City or we are not playing a top European club. <laughs> so the, we are playing a team that is beatable honestly. So uh, I'll go for a three two win Manchester United. Or the best scenario will be a three one win Manchester United. Tell me what you think below. What's your lineup? Who's going to start? Who will you start in that lineup? Should Onana start in that game? Should we play a, a deep line or a high line? This is the things we need to discuss on the channel. But guess what? Ogate needs to start. In my view, I think Ogate is the player which I want to test Ogate's energy with Fred. I want to see that midfield Ogate with, uh, with uh, Amrabat because that is where we games are win or loss. Terry Tenak has to take that um, uh, take that gamble with these players because I think that's the only way that makes him uh makes him feel a little bit confident with his new recruit uh, recruit yes we have heard a lot of uh, stories that ericsson will be leaving at the end of the year i don't make those videos like oh guess what we're making i mean ericsson is leaving if you guys want i'll be doing those videos every day i don't i think it's i mean when the, he could leave he couldn't i don't want to make a video that hey, ericsson now nah, could get manchester united has uh, has discussed uh, about harvey coming to Manchester. all those things are speculation i know it's good for views it's good for you make some extra pennies out of them is a, a channel like mine will make maybe one penny out of a video like that yeah but um, but i want to make real videos where things are happening this is why you people come to the community and guys anyway uh smash a like on the video get involved with the united way tv and uh yeah guys without all said talk to you soon bye bye